Hey y'all, it's the final anomaly. Today we're gonna talk super heavy samurai ABC. And before I said it wasn't as strong, but I think it's actually on the same level as the level 7 engine now. I've really been doing a lot of test duels, having a blast with it. Being able to have a one-card combo on many occasions is extremely strong. A lot of bait. Um, so really it just depends. You can run the level 7 engine ABC or Super Heavy Samurai ABC. It really just depends on what you want to struggle with because each deck struggles with their own issues, of course. Um, but y'all, let's get into it real fast. It's really hard to get some replays because the moment I go Super Heavy Samurai combo, they think it's Super Heavy Samurai and they just surrender kind of like this right here. Uh, we got to go first. We got a really good hand. We got stuff to bait. The only thing we don't have is the out to the ash. Uh, but pretty much we do this. Uh, we go ahead and search, um... And there you are like they, they just surrender uh same thing with this other match right here we get an amazing hand we have the out to max c um we're able to do so much and then we go ahead and play and then they just like yeah i'm not gonna deal with super heavy samurai so because of this i was gonna do live duels to show you the abc super heavy samurai but so many people were giving up and then this one here is a third match where again we didn't get to showcase anything uh, they just see that we're playing Super Heavy Samurai and have the L to their hand traps, and then they just give up. So anyways, because of this, just want to show you real fast. We go ahead and we're ready to go combo here. We're not even doing anything with ABC yet. They go ahead and max C, we Ash, and then they just surrender. So because of that, we're going to show you some replays instead. And then I'll kind of explain um, how the deck works. We'll go over the deck list at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get into the actual replays. Alrighty, so for the first match of the video... Uh, we get to go first, which is nice, and we have the out to max C, so we're looking pretty good here. Uh, so pretty much what we decide to do is we're going to go ahead and play Union Hanger first, just to see if they Ash this, which they did. They went ahead and went Ash Blossomed here, uh, which is fine because we have an ABC piece in hand. But now, I want to I want to tell you guys this. Because of, the AB, because of the Super Heavy Samurai engine, we no longer have to use our normal summon for an ABC piece. Because if we can go the Super Heavy Samurai route we'll get um prodigy and then we'll go ahead and just uh a pendulum summon taking advantage of union hanger so it's 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 freaking awesome being uh it's just crazy how much super heavy samurai actually offers um and then you know the only th issue here is that if uh, union hanger had gotten destroyed then that would have been probably an issue but you're going first you know not as likely anyways they maxi luckily we have the ash to maxi um, so we're able to out this then they activate this which I haven't had this used against me here the butler I don't know if that's a new card that was added or if it's just been there I've been away from master duel for about a month So they're able to set this turning the monster face down ending my play So it's fine if you look at this they have one card in their hand They had to give up four cards in their hand to be able to stop me from playing. I think that's fair I think that's okay. So anyways, they go ahead and set a card and then pass turn They don't have very much um, and then here we just have free reign at this point uh, we did draw the maxi which is nice especially against lab on our turn uh go ahead and activate this where he would then go into the union driver uh pitch union driver to be able to get the b buster then we're going to go into the link play here um we're going to go ahead and activate this they do ash it which is this is what's awesome also about the super heavy samurai is that there's a lot of bait cards they'll use their hand traps on super heavy samurai especially if they don't know you're playing another engine um they'll use their their hand traps to bait that and then you'll still have your regular plays um, with ABC, which is freaking awesome. So I love it. Uh, the only issue here. Oh, and then they just give up because there's nothing they're going to be able to do. Um, so just an example there of AB, uh, not ABC, but Super Heavy Samurai baiting the hand traps, extending the plays, and then we no longer have to give up our normal summon because of Super Heavy Samurai, um, which allows us to remove the level 7 engine from the deck. That's why I think they're pretty much on equal, on equal grounds uh, in their own right. And they both have their issues in their own right. For example, if you open Called by the Grave and the only route you have is Super Heavy Samurai and they max C, you got to choose what you got to do there. And so that's kind of where the issue is in certain points. And for the second match, we actually go second on this one. Um, so a little rough here. I think we're going up against Super Heavy Samurai as well. Now they brick. They actually brick. They normal summon um, Soul Piercer or uh, Soul uh, Peacemaker. And so this is pretty cool. I didn't know that you could go this route. You could at least get a Baguska or a Negate. Um, so this was pretty interesting the way they did this. Uh, but they actually ended up going for, I believe it was, they had Nibiru. They had a pitch Nibiru here. Um, they ended up going for a Negate plus three hand traps in their hand. So we still had to go up against one Negate and three hand traps, uh, which could have been an issue. But again, playing Super Heavy Samurai and the ABC engine, we get so many options here. It's actually pretty awesome. Anyways, you're going through their plays here. 
they're able to do this now they opt they, they opt and if they had gone for baguska it would have been ggs because we can play around baguska um and so that's the one thing that abc can play around is against baguska which is pretty easy uh but they opted that they wanted to negate and the hand trap so that they can go ahead and have follow-up i guess through the um pendulum cards in, in their back row so anyway how do we deal with this uh, extremely simple here so we're gonna go ahead and play the union hanger first seeing if we bait the um but they have an ash so there but ash is fine we already have an abc piece in our hand so we're okay there we're not gonna suffer from that um so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and again we're gonna we're gonna summon soul piercer um and the reason is is because again we don't need to give up our normal summon anymore for it for absolutely an abc piece because we want to go into the pendulum summon so that we can just pendulum summon and, and and then it'll extend our plays even further uh the more valuable engine at this point was um was super heavy samurai and you can choose which is more valuable this is what i like about it it's pretty cool um you know instead of the level 7 engine where it's just there to extend for abc um or maybe the the aurora dawn line or tomahawk line this will offer options depending on what you're facing and, and uh, that's pretty awesome to me anyways they negate i don't know why they negate this i guess they didn't see that there was really going to be a choice for anything here so we go ahead and activate this and this is really cool too revolution synchron with soul piercer to go into ancient fairy dragon i mean that's that's pretty awesome we're gonna get to do our search here um we're gonna go ahead and see so now we're either going to be able to nor special summon the uh, the ABC piece with Ancient Fairy Dragon or Pendulum Summon. It's nuts. It's crazy what this deck does now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, send away the bike. Going to go ahead and get Prodigy. We're going to use Prodigy's effect. And then, of course, you know here, these are one card combos. So we're going to go ahead and search for uh, Soul Peacemaker. We're going to go ahead and then activate for the special summon. They have a... Um... So keep in mind, y'all, we've played through the Barona Gate. We've played through Ash. Now we've played through an effect veiler. Um, and so this does get negated. Keep in mind, it also gives up our battle phase because we activated the effect. So we won't have a battle phase now. We activate this to bring this in. We're going to go ahead and then use this to bring out our level 8 so that we can get out the level 2. But they are able to negate it. And so keep in mind here, y'all, we are still completely fine. We have the Mecha Phantom Beast uh, uh, O-Lion. Which we could pitch with Borg Blocker to still go into the Aurora Dawn line. And so anyways, what do we do here after this gets negated? Uh, this is fine. We're going to go ahead and do this. And we're actually going to go into the Link Monster. So instead of using those two, normally I would have got used the two monsters, gone into Borg Blocker, Sendo Lion, got the token, and got Aurora Dawn. Now we have the option of doing this. So we activate this, we destroy it, we bring out this so that we special summon Soul Peacemaker. And now we don't even have to pitch O-Lion. Um, go ahead and go into Borg Blocker. Now here, if we wanted to, we could go into the route of uh, Elf, but I did change up the extra deck. So we don't have the Elf draw three anymore in this deck. Of course, you could choose whatever you want. We're going to go ahead and just, we're just going to search Prodigy so that we can pen summon anyways. Now we get to activate the Union Hanger effect. Sending Union Driver, going in a Sea Cross Driver, and we just have unlimited plays here. We can't be stopped. We l we literally can choose whatever we want from the extra deck to come out. So we're just gonna go into IP. That way we have that out. We're gonna go ahead and search for a Assault Core. See, we didn't again. We used our normal summon for the Super Heavy Samurai Engine instead of. Now I did this because our battle phase was over, and I wanted I wanted to get rid of some monsters on the board, and I wanted to get rid of some of that back row. And so, because we can't go for game here. So remember that. The reason I'm not going anything more complicated is because I can't go for game here. Um, also needed to clear the board to make room, which is why I did that. Uh, because if not, I wouldn't have had enough room for the tokens. Anyways, we activate this. We go ahead and bring the tokens out. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and activate. And you already know this. The typical line. We're going to go to this. We're going to go into Dang Long. Dang Long is going to search our nine pillars. We're going to get the token out with O-Lion. Um, then we're going to go ahead and go into, uh, and see the nice thing too is in the level 7 engine, we either chose to go into Barone or chose to go into Savage Dragon. Now we can go into Barone early. Uh, in this case, we didn't get a chance because they negated it, but we can go into Barone early and then still go into Savage Dragon with the um, Aurora Dawn line, which is freaking massive. It's really cool how it does that. Um, and so anyways, we activate this. We're going to go ahead and get our card there. We're going to go ahead and get to a special summon as a Fraxy. We're going to go ahead and then go into um, ABC. We're going to go ahead and banish this one, obviously, because now they can't activate Prodigy's effect if they draw another one. And then we're pretty much set here. 
um they have nothing we we have three negates or sorry two negates a banish and then of course a goddess effect and so that's game the i think with a little more time and a little more tweaking of this deck this deck is going to be extremely strong I, I can't believe it i just i guess it's just that the build previously wasn't as strong Alrighty, for this match we're going second um we did draw into the droll though which is great and then we drew into two we drew into a one card combo so we drew into droll which is nice we drew into a one card combo with super heavy samurai um a motorbike we drew into a 1.5 card combo with union hanger the reason is 1.5 is because we do need another union monster in our hand to make this full combo so even if we didn't draw these these two cards right here are full combo not 1.5 i'm lying that's actually a two card combo um so that that's a lie uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a two card combo in this case because you have to have a union monster so anyways so we drew into a one card combo we drew into draw and then we drew into a two card combo um so we have full combo here anyways they activate heroes heroes just gets cooked by nibiru or droll so we go ahead and activate the droll and then they just have to set and pass turn which is what they do they set and pass turn so now it's our turn we don't have the out to maxi and guess what they have yeah maxi everybody has maxi it's fine we decide we're gonna play through it because we can get out and negate fairly quickly i think they draw two or three by the time we get a negate out so we're gonna go ahead and play prodigy one card combo here it's freaking amazing we're gonna go ahead and then search soul piercer we're gonna go ahead and uh, activate the union hanger here to do our search just to see if they have an ash doesn't look like we get ash here go ahead and do soul piercer then we're gonna go ahead and go into our synchro dragon here we're gonna activate soul piercer's effect we're gonna get uh now we're gonna we have the opportunity to depend summon here if you notice they've drawn what two cards at this point now three and then now four, but now we have the negate. So I'm okay with that, but we get a negate a little bit earlier on, which makes me feel safer. We go ahead and destroy that. They act. They choose called by the grave. I guess it's to be safe. Now we're able to just pen summon. They'll get one draw from the pen summon, and now we're able to go into our ABC plays. We're gonna go ahead and use tuning here, and then now we're gonna be able to get out another negate after this because we're gonna use um, this, and then we're gonna be able to go ahead and search for our. Um, Therian King. Now, this is an ideal, obviously. You don't want to play through Maxi, but if we let heroes play, they were they would have won. So, um, we definitely wanted to take our chances, and it paid off because he knew at this point we were just going to be too good. That extra pen summon for ABC, I mean, pendulum, uh, pendulum summoning um, ABC just feels weird, and it, it feels very satisfying. Alrighty, so for this match here, we had to go second. We did draw the Maxi, though, luckily. Um, so I felt really good here. Anyways, they activate this. They're able to... We go ahead and hold the Maxi. Um, I had a feeling it was going to be Lab. And I was kind of scared that they'd find the out. I saw what they drew. But they opted to get this card instead. Um, which, fine by me. Anyways, they did this and they sent Kit Kalos. It's the first time I've seen this abomination of a type of deck. Luckily, they don't benefit from any of this. They go ahead and search the Chandelier here. Um, they go ahead and send the Chandelier. Of course, being able to set the Trap card. Um and then i believe at this point they set oh no oh, they play somehow you know just people always open this card even if it's not in a snake eyes deck anyways they go ahead and grab another negate out uh, which is really good and then they go ahead and play this being able oh i, I do max c here i want to take advantage of this um and so we go ahead and max c here so we do get an additional draw which i think is the out to a max c which is all i ever hope for i always hope hopefully i draw the out to max c as we always have maxi i draw a nib which nib against lab isn't really that good um so they have a negate on board and then they have that search so anyways they're going to be able to search here uh for their monster they do activate this being able to set another one and then they do have the coup clock which this is one thing i love about uh being able to do the super heavy samurai and the abc is depending on what we have for the combo even if they choose synchro fine we can't go synchro we'll still go abc which is extremely strong abc the best matchup, I think, with the current meta and the decks that are being used is against Lab for ABC. So in this case, you know they're going to choose Synchro because that's what Super Heavy Samurai goes into. And again, so the beauty is that we're still going to get our ABC out, which we're going to be able to banish and probably run over something. And then banish on their turn as well. Anyways, they're playing here. Go ahead and return this. We go ahead and get Soul Piercer here. Uh, they go ahead and activate this. Now, luckily, here is the scary part. Okay. Here is the scary part. If they grab anything but Union Hanger, I'm okay with that. Um, and the only, and the reason is is because we'll still kind of be safe. Uh, but if they grabbed a Union Hanger, then it would have ended all our plays. We wouldn't have been able to go Super Heavy Samurai. We wouldn't have been able to go ABC. And at that point, we probably would have lost. So they had a pretty decent chance. What is it? 15%, uh, 30, 60, 90. 
at about what a 17 percent chance um or something like that uh to get it so um if i'm doing my math right tell me if i'm doing my math wrong that's just quick math anyways they activate this they choose synchro obviously so we can't synchro but baby we got abc so we're gonna go ahead and activate this and then we have some link plays go ahead and search soul piercer go ahead and activate the union hanger search the b buster play the b buster Go ahead and go into Union Driver. With Union Driver, we're going to go into see Crush Wyvern. And then we're going to activate Soul Piercer to equip. The reason we're equipping is obviously we can't Synchro. So we're doing different plays here. We go ahead and activate this to go into Bork Blocker. Go ahead and activate this and 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 this. Anyways, and then so we go ahead and search these two Super Heavy Samurai cards. We'll go ahead and search Bee Buster. We're able to Chain Block there in case they had the Ash. We'll go ahead and Pen Summon here. And I messed up the Pen Summon. I accidentally selected the wrong cards. I wanted to select Super Heavy Samurai a scale so that i could special summon again but anyways it's fine we go ahead and go into goddess here so that we can negate the effect whenever they're wanting to bring back the D diabell star however you say that we go ahead and bring back the buster bring the sea crush wyvern now we're going to go into abc we're going to go ahead and go for the attack so we attack the monster here we activates this we go ahead and negate that then we go ahead and attack they, the, the face down card is worthless they're going to activate this now we're going to banish the card they just set because again they won't be able to play it We'll be able to send the Ku Klu Klux to the grave. And then they have nothing. We just win. We just win because uh, um, D-Barrier doesn't do anything to us. It only, you know, D-Barrier only cooks Shadow's deck. Uh, just playing Shadow. Um, but, um, yeah, I think considering what's being paid in the meta right now, if I were to choose, I think first I would like to go up against Lab because it, it's a good... It, we match up fairly good against Lab, and then probably Snake Eyes is a good, fair matchup against Snake Eyes um, when it comes to dealing with the meta right now. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go over the deck list. So here's the deck list, y'all. Three uh, drone lock birds, you gotta have them. Three maxis. It's a 46 card deck, just like the uh, ABC level seven, and so the one uh, uh, Soul Peacemaker. Um, the we have the two old lions. We have three motorbikes because they're one card combos. Three Ash Blossoms. Three revolution synchrons because they're 1.5 card combos or i guess in this case two card combos so i'm lying again actually yeah there's still two card combos because you have to have specific cards um and then we have scales one one scales we have the two uh, soul piercers we have the two uh, aso cores the two b busters the two c crush wyverns we have the union driver we have the theory king regulus the one nibiru so that we draw into it with maxi the ones of fraxi so that we can go into the aurora dawn line Three prodigies, of course, one card combos. We have the one monk, so drawing into this won't be ideal. Uh, three tunings, um, because obviously they get us into Ancient Fairy Dragon. Three Union Hangers, one Disc Coliseum, two Called by the Graves, one Cross Out Designator, and one Nine Pillars. And I know y'all y'all might think there's spell cards in this, they counteract. No, if you play the deck right, you necessarily don't need to play any of these spell cards till after you've produced combo uh, with Super Heavy Samurai. And then the field spells don't go to the grave unless you're activating more than one. So you could partially go into combo while you're getting your super heavy samurai stuff out. Um, and if you're going the the other route, the ABC route, by the time you do that, then you don't even need to rely on the super heavy samurai support. So just keep that in mind. I know it's a little weird. The first version of this deck that I made, I was not happy with, but I finally found a really good balance. And that was removing the Distrudo, removing uh, additional field spells, and then removing the level 7 engine. Uh, for the extra deck, y'all, we got two ABC Dragon Busters, we got Dang Long, we got Ancient Fairy Dragon, we got Cyframe Lord Omega, which does come uh, often because you can, you do have an additional level 8 summon if people just wouldn't surrender. Um, we got the Boralode Savage Dragon, we got Excel Synchron Stardust Dragon, we got Bor on the Floor, we got number 41 uh, Baguska, uh, we have number 42 Tomahawk, a Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow, the IP Mascarena, the Borg Blocker. The Mega Phantom Beast, the Roar Dawn, and then the Goddess. And um, if I were to say, I originally had access code in here, but and you could like you could probably remove Omega if you wanted to. I would say Baguska is a must. Um, you don't know how many matches I had where everybody opened Maxi. I, I something's broken in the game. So so many duels. I want to say like maybe if I were to play twenty duels, at least like I don't know a good fifteen of those duels people open Maxi. It's 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 insanity. Anyways, so I think Baguska is definitely something you want to have because you can go into it just with one Union Hanger, or you can go into it just with one one card combo uh, of Super Heavy Samurai. So it's super strong. You can set a Baguska pass. Um, and then hope, you know, there's going to be better odds than just passing. But this is the deck list, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I think with a little more time, a little more playing around with this deck, a little more tweaking, this may surpass the level 7 engine just slightly. Um, and who knows, maybe with the ban of, or the Unicorn being limited, 
uh, not limited, but semi-limited, we may actually convert to this deck. I'm pretty sure I can spice this up just a little bit better. But I did want to share it with y'all because it is actually pretty insane drawing into a one-card combo with ABC. ABC does not have one-card combos, and so drawing into a one-card combo with ABC is kind of nuts. And they're machines, so worst case, you can you the Aurora Dawn line is always available no matter what you decide to do or if things get stopped. So even the Aurora Dawn line there is kind of for free. Um, to oh, Tomahawk can actually be removed. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I just realized Tomahawk's in there. We can't even use Tomahawk anymore. So go ahead and remove Tomahawk, and you, you have an extra space on the extra deck. Choose whatever you want, y'all. Um, I think access code is probably a good choice though. I'm not gonna lie access code might be probably the better choice So I would probably go with access code. That's what I'm gonna do um, Because there's been times where I can go for game and then I, I I'm short. So uh, Anyways, y'all I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think seriously Let me know what you think about the deck. Let me know if you think it's nuts. I think it's pretty crazy. It's pretty cool pendulum something about uh, pendulum summoning ABC is kind of just like it's freaking awesome, so Anyways, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel massively. We are only like 200 and change uh, subscribers away from 5K subscribers, which would be super awesome to reach that goal. So please help me, y'all. Go spread the word. Tell people if you like and you comment, it's going to help the algorithm, y'all. Y'all don't know this, but liking the video and commenting helps massively. So please, please, please. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Catch you on the next one.